One day, there were three people sitting at a remote place. Suddenly, three beautiful apsaras came from the sky and quickly invited all the three men to enjoy them as a gift. The first man quickly joined his gifted apsara and started loving her, enjoying her beauty totally with gratitude. The second guy started questioning like, where does she came from, who she is, why does she only came to me, etc, etc. Second Apsara yelled, come closer to me, love me, don't miss this beautiful opportunity. But second guy said, wait a minute, let me first get the answers of my questions. The third Apsara was shouting loudly to the third guy, come, come quickly, I have to leave after some time. But the third guy was intensely sleeping, that too with snores. The first guy saw this that his colleagues were still sitting there, wasting the precious gift. So after one orgasm, he returned to them because he loved them. He wanted them to enjoy too. He said, why are you standing here? Such a precious beauty is in front of you. Why are you not joining the bliss? The second guy replied, please don't disturb me. I'm about to get the answers of my questions. And the third guy replied, you go away man, you are waking me up, you are spoiling my sleep and dreams, just go away, otherwise I will kill you. The first guy tried again and suggested to second guy that, bro but you can use the time of the orgasm for questioning. And to the third guy he told with love that at least open your eyes, at least try to see the beauty. Your decision may change, but they both must have ignored due to their ego and the first guy had gone for another round. Later, it's found that the first guy was a mystic, a Sufi, a Zen. He just surrendered to the beautiful gift of existence and life. Second guy was a serious philosopher, a scientist. He prioritized questioning that beautiful gift rather than enjoying that gift. He could have enjoyed the moment first with a little courage and then later he could have deeply questioned, but he missed the moment. And the third guy was a socially conditioned crowd. More than 90% people belong to this category. He was so busy with the worldly things, businesses, ego, belief, fame, religion, desires that he got tired and went asleep and didn't have that courage to wake up. Mysticism, Sufism, Taoism, Zen is not a religion or a discipline. It is art of seeing beauty in mysteries. A mystic doesn't need a beautiful moment to enjoy. He makes each moment beautiful by surrendering to life itself. Mysticism is a gratitude with love to the whole existence for the gift of life. A mystic never complains about life, he just accepts and feels gratitude for whatever life gives. Because he knows that he didn't buy life, life bought him. Everything is a gift of life, respect it, including problems too. Because if there is no problem, there will not be any adventure. And that Apsara in the above story is not a curl from heaven, it is life itself. And I'm not saying that wondering, philosophizing or reasoning is useless, no. Wondering, questioning has its own beauty. But you should know its limitedness. You need to understand this fact that all questioning or reasoning is limited to knowledge. Knowledge is limited to memory and memory is limited to our senses. And our senses are limited to material world. But existence and its mystery is infinite, it is beyond words and symbols. So don't question with seriousness, seriousness destroys artistic and aesthetic approach to life. A mystic also wonders, but his wonder is not answer oriented. His questions are not questions, they are more like fascination, wonder, like of a child's wonder. He just fascinate with the wonder. His approach is to experience the wonder, not to find the answers of the wonder. So do questioning as if you are playing with it, like a puzzle. Don't be stubborn about getting answers because there is no guarantee of any 
correct answer due to mind's limited knowledge. But always remember, questioning should not hinder your artistic approach to life. And what can I say about the third category? They are so after money, power, prestige, ego, religion, belief that they don't have time and space for understanding life itself. They cannot understand life unless they open their eyes, their intelligence, their curiosity, their quest of knowing who they are truly, what is their essence. But first they need to understand that they are asleep. They need to know this reality that they are in the dreams of their desires. 